In this lesson we're going to learn how to make this trim or edge. It's made out of two Romanian cords right in here. This Romanian cord here and here in blue, dark blue color. And it's connected uh, following the pattern I'm going to show you. And then after I finished uh, connecting two cords together, I decorated them. On one side I made single crochet backwards or crab stitch and uh, on another side puff stitches backwards and I'm going to show you how I did this. So you will need to crochet two uh, Romanian cords, it does not matter how long you will make them. Uh, for practice just make four inches long both of them, something like this. Uh, pick up a color, contrast color, it's always easier when you learn, you can do it all in one color, you can do it in uh, both colors, three colors, four colors, like I used here, you have four different colors to make this edge. So, and we can uh, begin um, the, uh, connecting them together, those um, two cords. So first you, uh, I connect first this one on the left, and then I will pick up the other one. And here's the pattern. Insert the hook into the bump, first bump on the uh, cord, pick up thread and pull it through. And make chain one. Then pick up other piece and do the same thing. Insert the hook into the bump. But first when you begin it will be a little bit uncomfortable to do this, connect them together, first stitch, and then it will be all easy. And grab thread and pull it through the bump and the stitch on the hook, like this. Make sure it's tight. Chain one. From now on we will crochet back and forth to the right, to the left, right, right, left. So we will connect one time to the left cord, another time to the right cord. So here's the pattern go again. Into the left cord, into the bump, grab thread and pull through the bump and through the stitch. It's your slip stitch. Make chain, chain one. Now we're going into the right side, into the right bump uh, cord, insert the hook into the bump and grab thread, pull it through the bump and the stitch on the cord. Chain one. Now we're going to the left and hook into the bump, grab thread, have two stitches on the hook. and make a slip stitch. Chain one. Next step, into the right cord, into the bump, grab the thread and pull it through the bump and through the stitch on the hook. Chain one. And continue this way all the way to the end. Slip stitch on the left, chain one, slip stitch on the right, chain one, slip stitch on the left, into the bump, slip stitch, chain one, and continue this way all the way to the end. So I will continue with you finishing my piece that I have here to show you how to make um, edges, how I made them the way they look in my project. And you can stop the video and write down or as I talk uh, the pattern. It's very easy to remember. Slip stitch on the left into the bump, chain one. 
slip stitch on the right into the right bump slip stitch chain one slip stitch into the left bump chain one slip stitch into the right chain one chain one it's a little bit um, more difficult to do it on the right because it's a little bit unusual it it does uh, remind you a backwards crochet a single crochet backwards but it is possible just try you'll use to it so I'm almost done and um, if you at the end you continue with me if you are not at the very end of your project you can stop the video and come back when you will finish it cut the thread of your trimming and now you will crochet the edges and you can use uh, any color or the same you can use again green like I did here and of course if it is single crochet backwards we begin from the left end and we will crochet single crochet backwards crocheting and inserting the hook into each bump And uh, I'm not teaching you here in this video how to crochet single crochet backwards because you're already supposed to know it in the previous lesson we had already learned how to make crab stitch or another name for it single crochet backwards so this is what you do with one edge you just decorate one edge like this um, and again um, you can decorate any way you want so this is will be one edge and then the other edge you can pick up a different color or you can do it with the same color puff stitches backwards puff stitches backwards are also fun to make and this is how you make them So insert the hook again into the first bump like this and make chain one yarn over insert the hook into the next bump just the same way as you would do any backwards stitch grab thread and bring it through pull it through this bump again yarn over and bring the hook into the bump grab the thread and bring it out you can do it up to four times it depends how much you want uh, how, how puffy you want your puff stitch I did two times it's enough I believe and then pull the all threads through and close the puff stitch and then again yarn over going into the next bump grab thread and pull it through yarn over into the bump pull the thread through now crochet all stitches on the hook together secure the stitch yarn over right now you don't see anything yet but in a minute you will see I'll show you what happened 
into the bump, bring thread through, yarn over, again hook into the bump, grab the thread and pull it through. You have you will have five stitches on the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Crochet them all together, secure and continue. Yarn over into the bump, grab thread, pull it through, yarn over into the bump, grab the thread and pull it through. Crochet all together, secure them with a slip stitch, again yarn over and continue this way. And again, you can do it up to four times. Crochet at the end all of them together, secure them, yarn over, again going into the bump, bring thread through, yarn over, into the bump, bring thread through, I'm not sure I did it right here, I have to undo it again. Yarn over into the bump, bring threads through, yarn over into the bump, threads through, crochet together and again repeat all steps the same way. And this way continue crocheting all the way around. And it will be really a uh, nice, uh, thick and beautiful um, uh, edge. Right in here it's a little bit dark thread, but it does look uh, really beautiful. Now there is another way of doing it, and I'm going to show you. You can crochet the same thing, puff stitches, but skipping one of those bumps. So let's do this. You have to do chain two into the bump, skip one into the next bump, pull it through and do the same thing, puff stitch like before, continue and now skip the bump coming into the next instead. Do it a couple times. Um, you can do it up to four, depends on the thickness of the thread. If thread is thick, um, you can uh, do it up to four times, those uh, yarn over and stitches through. But if the thread thicker, like I use a little bit thicker thread for the video, um, then use only twice, yarn over twice. Again, skip one bump and insert the hook into the next one. Thread into the bump, crochet puff stitch secure together with a slip stitch and again yarn over into the next bump, skip one, remember skipping and continue this way all the way. So first time we did not skip bump and we received a very thick layer of uh, puff stitches. Um, again, it all depends on your taste, how you would like to do this. Before you make any um, uh, project, you can always play with a small piece, like I right now making for the video small pieces. Um, you can play with a very small piece of thread and um, see how it will look like. So here it is, does look a little bit different, does look a little bit different when we were skipping the bumps. Now you really distinctly can see each puff stitch by itself and uh, on the top it's kind of like a wave, a very beautiful uh, look and feeling very soft and uh, warm look. So here how to finish the other edge of the trim of the edge.